All right, I think we've reached a point in our uh, series of lessons where it's time to get rid of the sample data that we brought in when we installed our template. And while I in no way mean to imply that all this sample data is trash, uh, that is what uh, it is called in Joomla when you want to delete uh, content, delete articles, delete uh, menu items or, uh, or modules, uh, categories. When you want to delete these things, what you do is select them and uh, hit the trash bin. And so in this lesson, we're going to discuss how to do that properly so that uh, you will not have any conflicts. And uh, perhaps the first thing that we can delete uh, are all of the articles. Let's uh, go to our article manager under content. And let's go down to the very, very bottom. And if it isn't already showing, hit the display all button so that all of your articles are showing up on your list here. And then go to the top and just uh, check on the uh, little square that's right above in inside the header there and that will uh, turn on or, or, or select all of the articles and now uh, we can just go over to our trash bin hit the trash and all of those articles will be sent to the trash however we're not quite done what we have to do now is empty the trash because if we left it just like this and uh, we started working on our website if by any chance one of the articles that we typed in happened to have the exact same name as one of these trashed items, we, we would come up with a naming conflict. And uh, we sometimes get emails from people saying, what's happening? Why can't I name this article? And it's giving me this error. And it says I've got another article, but I can't find it. How do I, how do I get rid of those old articles? I thought I trashed those. Well, uh, here's, here's the thing. You've got one more step. After you trash an article or category or menu item or module, you have to do one more step, and that is empty the trash. And perhaps the best way to do that is to go over to the Select Status button and uh, from the drop-down menu, choose Trashed. And now this will display all of the items that have been sent to the trash but have not been completely deleted from your server. And that's why you get naming conflicts, because you have all of these items, all of these articles, uh, taking up a, a name that you might end up uh, trying to use. So once again, the thing to do with all of the articles showing, uh, you know, you're displaying all, go up and uh, in the header, check all again, and this time go and empty the trash. Okay, and now you'll no longer have any potential naming conflicts when you go to make a new article. All right, then the next thing we can do is go to the category manager. And uh, here in the category manager, let's uh, select all again, but let's uncheck the one that says uncategorized. We can use that category. Yeah, but the rest we can delete. Hit the trash button. Go to select status. Hit the trash button. And uh, once again, check all and empty trash. And now we can go to the menus tab and drop down to the main menu. And uh, let's uh, select all again, but let's keep the home. Uh, menu item, and uh, we can just get rid of all the rest. Hit the trash button, select our status, hit the trashed, and select all and empty trash. And uh, it's good to actually go back to select status. That way, the next time you come to the menu, you won't be wondering, well, what's going on? Okay, just one more area where we should make our deletions, and that is in the module manager over to extensions and click on module manager and let's maybe uh, select all but uncheck the k2 comments uh, just in case we want to maybe use the k2 features at some point we, we might as well leave those modules in place but everything else uh, we can get rid of so just uh, with all of those selected hit the trash button and let's go up to Status, hit the trashed button, select all of those, 
make sure that they're all showing. And then uh, we can hit the empty trash. And then uh, remember to go back to either published or select status. And then let's go take a look at our site and see what's left. And <laughs> not much. But that leaves us a nice clean slate that we can now begin to build our site. Now, if you were appreciating some of the data that was inside of that uh, sample website, uh, because there is a lot of good reference material there that you can refer to as you build your site, remember that you can always go to uh, Rocket Theme and click on the Kiragami template that shows up there. And uh, if it's not showing up there, just go to Joomla Templates and uh, show all Joomla templates. Find the Kiragami template, click on it, and one of your uh, options is to uh, see the demo site of the Kiragami template. And here you will have all of that same reference information. For example, if you wanted to at any time check out uh, the layout of the module positions of this template, you can go to Features, and click on module positions and here you'll get a nice display of how things line up for your modules and so if you ever need to uh, refer to some of this information about this template remember you can go back to rocket theme and choose demo all right but for now i think that uh, that should give you a good idea of how you can take out the trash in such a way that you never have to worry about naming conflicts.